Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, I will try to show you one concept in the React 18 which is exclusive in the React 18. So that is a state update batching. I will try to explain you about that one. If you try to see here, this is our simple app. So I will try to remove this one all. So I will increase the font size also so that it will be very much clearly observable. So you that you can able to see clearly. Yeah, here and in our app.js i will remove this logo also and here just i have given a out, uh, output of high lila right so let's try to see whether we can able to see it or not so the output we are able to see it now what i want to do is oh, here in this one i will create a simple what i can say is inside this one i will create a simple heading so there is nothing but what i can say is uh, so counter or otherwise uh, okay so I will create a header so counter heading okay I will create it like this now in this one bottom I will have a simple counter so in the div I will show some counter okay we will have this counter so that is nothing but counter and I can have something like set uh, counter set counter and by default I will keep it as a zero so we are showing the counter now Another thing what I want to do is, so uh, let's see the output, whether we can able to see the output or not. So here I am able to see the counter as 0. Now I will add two buttons for this one. So here I will be having something like two buttons. Mm, button. So single increment. And another one is triple increment. I will do like this. So and also I will have another button that is nothing but reset. Mm, button. Reset okay so these are the two things which i want to tell you which i want to show so now here if i try to show so this is the reset we are having it right so now uh, let's say that we are having a heading also co constant mm, counter heading comma set counter heading okay is equal to use state of i will use something like counter heading I am using something like this. Uh, let's use this counter heading here inside this one. Okay, so that's it. Now these are the things. Now if I try to show you here in this one. So if I increment this counter, if I click on this button, so it should increment. So for this one, what I want to do is, so I am writing an on click for this one. And here I will write handle inc. So this is the method I am, which I am trying to do it. And here we will be having a function handle inc and in this one uh, what I can do is uh, set counter okay and I will use counter plus one counter plus one that's it right so now if I try to increment this one plus 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 so it is incrementing now this is the triple increment so when I click on this one this, so this should be incremented by three times so for this one what I can do is so here I can do on click is equal to handle triple inc okay and for this one function handle triple inc so i will do the same thing here i will copy it this one and here i will try to do three times so this is how i will be doing now if you try to implement this one on click spelling mistake it seems on click okay now here if i try to implement the same thing here if i click on this one it is incrementing now it should be incremented to six if i click here it is incrementing only to four so why is this happening so here when it is incremented and also we'll try to see whenever a state is getting updated whether the component is re-rendering or not we'll try to see it so here i will do a console.log okay rendering so here <clears throat> whether it is re-rendering or not we'll see so if I try to see here, the first time it is rendering the gray color which is having, so you can leave that one. So it is coming from the development tools. So here the thick black color it is there, right? So this is the actual rendering. If I click, if I refresh this page, first time the component is getting rendered. So fine, it's fine, it's fine. Now if I click on this plus, so again a rendering is happening. Why? Because a state is getting updated. So that is the counter is incrementing to plus one. So that is the reason it is getting updated. Fine. Now if I click on this plus three. So the state is getting updated only one time only 
and here we are able to see instead of updating three times it is updating only one time so for this one what we, what we need to do is so here the set counter first when it is when you are clicking on this uh, button so the when it is getting executed first the set counter will be executed so it will take the counter the first value will be the 0 0 plus 1 1 it will be so you know that these all the updating and all the things is asynchronous so by the time it goes to the second the counter will be still 0 0 plus 1 it will be 1 and here also 0 plus 1 it will be 1 so when this state is actually get updated is when it is rendered so when the component is re-rendered or during the re-rendering when the virtual DOM is getting updated to the fiber tree then only the state is getting updated so here immediately if you try to see the state will not be updated so in order to overcome this type of issue what we need to do is we need to use a callback function so here we need to use a callback function like this so it is a good to use the callback function so that you cannot you will not encounter this type of issues now if you try to see here so if you see the output for this one so I have incremented to 0 plus 1 plus 2 so here it will be updating now if you click on this triple plus see it has updated to 5 and also observe the one main thing is the, the component is rendered only once instead of rendering thrice why because so here the state is updated three times right so the for the, for, for the first state update the component should be re-rendered and the second state is getting updated again it should be re-rendered and the third time also this got to be so total three times it should be re-rendered the component so what we have learned in our previous videos and all those things so whenever there is an update in the state or the props or anything so the component instance will be recreated so but here this is not happening so because of this one so what is this one is called as an batching update so the state the react updates the state in batching now for example let's say that here you are having a reset button okay so here i will use on click is equal to reset I am using a reset method and here let's try to implement this one function reset so in this one what I will do is set counter I will make it as a 0 and here also I will do set counter of empty uh, not empty uh, set counter heading so here I will do set counter heading of empty or otherwise uh, Leela I will change it to heading now if you try to see here counter heading we are using it right so when I try to update here so first time so it is there so counter heading and zero it is there now single rendering is happened now when I click on this triple plus so single rendering is happening and now if I click on this reset so let's try to see so single render is happened and Leela and zero both the things has been updated now if I click on this reset so again rendering is happened because of the state update this one zero thing and now here if you try to see that now here if I click on this reset again so already the state is the same right so because of that reason already the state is same because of the reason the rendering is not happening so this is what it will happen so when the state is already the fiber tree that virtual DOM tree is one and the same only then also the rendering will not be happened so here if I click here again saying rendering will be happened so this is how the state update batching will be going on so when you when you are updating the state which is its default value then also it will not update the rendering will not happen and also when you are trying to do the multiple states and all those things only single time rendering will be happen so this is one thing you need to understand so this is how the state update batching will be occurred so this is so this is in the prior to react 18 like react 17 so this state update batching will not be there for this one so for the set timeout and promises also react 18 supports the render batching for example let's say that so you are having something like uh, what i want today is uh, uh, undo undo or anything undo uh, in two seconds or anything okay and here undo i will use an undo method so this method let's try to call this method function undo and in this one what I will do is or otherwise uh, okay set timeout I am using a set timeout and in this set timeout what I will do I will call this reset function and this should be executed after 2000 seconds that means after 2 seconds now if you click on this undo so this is in uh, what I can say is undo is not defined okay so it's a function right oh function undo I have implemented undo is there everything is there now hopefully it should work I think yeah so now if you try to see the first time it is re-rendered now if I try to do increment and if I do undo here so nothing is happening after two seconds a single render will be happened 
but, but here the state is updating two times so here the state is the two states are getting updated but here only one rendering is happening whereas in the react 17 this state set timeout promises so the batching state update will not be happened so this is what i want to explain you in the react js in the react editing that update state batching where the state whenever the state update is happening it will be updated in the batch that is what and also the single rendering will be happened so hope you understood about this uh, state updating if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you